<laughs> it's been really crazy. Um, one of my workshops has been promoted on TV in front of two million people in Germany's biggest TV station. And I just wanted to share the story with you, the benefits that this brought with it, and also the 16 things I learned that might help you when it comes to media. So this is the story. A friend asked me if we wanted to do a workshop together about relaxation in the forest. Uh, it's called forest bathing. It's a new trend coming from Japan. And I said, yes, it sounds like a lot of fun. And um, I've done for several years workshops for highly sensitive people, um, helping them to connect with themselves. So I thought, let's take it to the forest. And then it started. First, we got featured in the local newspaper. Then the first radio station came, a public one. And then they wanted also to send their TV station, uh, which they did. Um, the workshop was sold out within two weeks. Um, crazy. Uh, we didn't even promote a lot. So we set up a second workshop. Then one day before the first workshop happened, where the TV channel uh, wanted to join with the team, uh, Germany's biggest TV channel called RLD. It's, um, it might be similar to CNN or BBC uh, approximately. They ask if they can also join. So at the workshop we had six journalists there in front of 15 participants um, needed to handle it but it all went fine. My friend is really great in dealing with media. And yes, so this is how we got featured in two TV channels. Um, we reached more than two million people. So two million is only from the biggest TV channel. And then what followed was the media echo, you can call it. So um, other radio stations were calling. Um, I even did a live interview um, on radio, another station, several articles in other newspapers. And it was a huge success. And I didn't see this coming. I've been twice on TV, but once in India, once in Switzerland, so Germany was new. Um, and so the main benefits um, were not only the free ads we got, um, because also the biggest station, they also shared on social media, on Facebook, several posts. They made an extra video for it, which also reached another 160,000 people. Um, and it will be in their uh, media library online, so people can see it for years. So this is one main benefit, but the other one is the, the reputation. Because now I can say on the website, um, as seen on these media channels. And this is probably the biggest advantage, because you cannot buy this. You cannot, you cannot give the media station $100,000 and uh, be featured there, but either they come or they don't. So this is a great thing. Um, yeah, and the next one is that it really helped us clarify our story because when you see journalists working, they are all about stories. They love stories and they need to tell stories that people want to hear. So listening to the TV channel and the radio stations and what they made out of our words really helped me to get clear on, on what the benefits are and on what the masses want to hear or how, how, how it can reach them. So this is one thing I learned. Um, I have my list printed out here, so I go to the other 15 ones. Um, yes, the first thing is how it's so important how, which words you choose. It's related to clarifying your story because I've I've done these highly sensitive uh, people workshops for years and I'd never the press showing up. Um, and I think it's mainly because how I titled the workshops, how I phrased them, the promise I gave. And like forest bathing, and it's, you cannot translate it word by word in English, but we have, we gave it this like little cheeky title. So it's something that just resonates where I feel like, what is this? So it creates attention. Um, and whoever I told about the workshop was like, you see, they wake up and they get like, huh, some kind of irritated and like, what? <laughs> but some like curious or interested, but you see a reaction. And this is something I can highly recommend. Test your titles like, and test it with real people. Because if you scale up in the internet, if you just post Facebook ads or 
uh, blog posts, whatever, you don't see the reaction of, of real people. And if you just talk to, it doesn't even need to be your avatar. Um, it would be best if, but if you're talking to people, you see their reaction and you know instantly if it will be a success or not. The second thing I learned is that media channels and journalists are working together like a private party, you could say, like a dinner party. So either you are invited or not, but if you are invited, the chances are that you meet more than one person and that, that you are coming, joining into a network. And there's an invitation card. This is the third uh, thing I learned. And the invitation card is your story because what journalists want is a story that sells. This is what they need. So if you give them a story that sells, then you're invited. It's as easy as that. The fifth thing is start small and work your letter, work up the letter. Um, if we would have approached the biggest media channel, uh, yeah, they would have ignored us. But we had this track record. Uh, we have been in the small newspaper, then in the first radio station, and the journalists became aware through these other media releases. So they saw, okay, this radio station reported about them. Let's tune in. Let's hear how, how, it's, how it sounds like. Are they positive? Uh, is it inspiring to listen to them? Okay, yes. So, okay, let's do it. Um, and that way it, it also doesn't become overwhelming because you can always just go to your local newspaper and tell them, hey, I have this story. You want to talk about it or like if you like you can interview me um, yeah it might be that they approach you and something comes out and it's free ads I mean you it's like it's probably the best half an hour in a day you can spend um, if you have a great story to tell um, if if you're featured on on the radio station newspaper or t TV then the sixth thing is give value to the journalists and again like I can only give praise to Rainer because um, while um, his wife and me were facilitating the workshop um, he was taking care of the journalists um, he greeted them he made them feel at home comfortable and he is a journalist himself this is what he did earlier so he's really great in just connecting and sharing stories and they had common people they knew so the journalists really loved it and they yeah and it's really important um, and also it's just the same thing as in normal marketing reciprocity when you give people want to give you back so um, I just love to to see like how I can I serve these journalists like how can I help them to make the story great and um, can I provide them additional footage uh, maybe video or photos or a bio or whatever so whatever you can give them that makes it their life easier chances are that they are more likely to come back to you than to a competition who offers something similar. The seventh thing is journalists are also human beings and this is a great thing because in case you are scared and you think like whoa this would be crazy to have a TV camera there and it's staring at me. Hey it's only one journalist you need to be talking to and if you connect before the interview you with, the, with them it's just like talking to a friend or t talking to a new friend but there's this personal relationship that you build and it takes the whole stress out and also what I saw was that they really supported us they wanted us to look nice and like yeah arranged the background that it looked better and so they were pretty helpful so there's nothing to be scared of the ninth thing I le learned is um, ask them questions on how you can support them further or what they are interested in or if they have more um, posts about this topic uh, coming up. For example, the first radio guy told us that he's often in the forest because he is reporting a lot about forest related topics. And knowing, having this information and having this uh, business card, if I would hear a great story, I could directly send him an email, let him know and he'd be happy, would, we would stay in touch and we would deepen the connection. So it's, it's a two minute thing, it's just a matter of asking the right questions and, and it can pay off in a huge way on long term. You don't know, but it can be. Then number 10, I already told it, listen to what they say, like what do they think is the story that will sell? 
because the thing is we have this first introduction workshop and then we have another big course uh, coming up for training people to take groups to the forest themselves and I thought they would be interested in the small workshop like the self experience but they were all after the big course which was better for the, for us because it's at a different price it's it's our main goal to get people there um, and also how they phrased it and the objections they came or the questions they asked like just listen very carefully to them because this is pure gold these journalists are trained for years they have a lot of experience on what works and what doesn't work and it's basically like which words to use to reach an audience number 12 and this tip is not for me but also from my friend Rainer I'll maybe put a link to his website below it's German but maybe some of you will understand it um, it's put a press button into your menu at the bottom at the top because if someone a journalist comes to your site and sees oh there's press information that means this company is open for working together with with media that makes it much easier and if your competition doesn't have it yeah probably yeah, they'll end up with you doing the interview with you and not with the other guys who don't show interest in cooperating with uh, the media so pretty easy thing uh, you can put the bio there or you can just say like I'm open for interviews uh, just very short you, you could set it up today in 15 minutes just a photo just the text let me know if you have question if you're a journalist I'm happy to support you with all you need um, then the contact form and you're done um, and you never know how it will serve you on the long run so it's well invested 15 minutes again another thing I learned from Rainer is the media fire this is how he calls it so once the fire is burning means one the once the biggest station is uh, talking about what you do uh, you can keep putting oil in the fire uh, and tell other smaller stations like hey we have been featured on this big station would you also like to interview uh, us or report about it and they for sure most likely they will say yeah sure if if this big this huge guys uh, report we should also do it so it's pretty easy to have this effect of just keeping the oil like or keeping the fire burning and you will have um, more reach and it's all for free okay we come to the last three points number 14 is be authentic and this is I mean it's true for everything but if you wear a mask if you hide behind something people will feel it and they don't will not feel connected they will feel like what is he hiding what is she hiding it doesn't feel it doesn't resonate it doesn't feel like aligned but if you just be yourself um, yeah yes you you are vulnerable then but you you are just you and people will feel like this sounds authentic I like it and then it's just a personal taste if it fits or not um, but people can then find out themselves if they like you if they like your approach or if it's not for them um, which is both fine so that way you only attract the people to your offer uh, whatever you have that fit that resonate with your message point number 15 be as clear and as specific as possible the TV teams that we have there they recorded for four hours um, they had a lot of content but they put it together into a video of I think one was one minute and the other one was three minutes so if they have two hours of material three minutes or one minute that appears in the news you need to get really clear on what you say like this you can either like talk forever and say nothing or you can distill your message and really bring it down so that when you say two sentences it's clear and I said one of these things and I hoped that they would uh, send it and they did um, so I was really glad that I think that I was thinking before uh, they came on how can I say it like what stories can I tell how can I make it sound interesting and this is point 16 think in stories like what is the transformation that the people are going through like where are they at and what comes out when they have gone through your product through your offer and if you can break this down and tell it in just like a minimum of words and like break it down more and more and more condense it distill it this is pure gold because this is something that that can be easily spread so 
this is it for yeah the 16 points and what I learned on TV. Oh, there's one more point, uh, number 17, which is I was surprised um, that not we didn't have too many signups for the second workshop, and this is due to one reason because if you are in mass uh, media it's like very broad it's not specific so only a very 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 small percentage of the people will be interested in what you offer so if you could choose i would always choose um the more specific channel like if there would be a channel only talking about like forest bathing sure i would go there or about health and meditation i would choose this one even if it has only uh, ten thousand people uh, watching instead of the big channel only thing is if you need the reputation then go for the big one but yeah it's really it's amazing um, also this effect on how being on TV uh, creates something in people's mind like that you're then oh you have been featured on TV um, sure I was using the story for my marketing but yeah in the end we just had a great day it was just a lot of fun and I'm a former cameraman on TV so I just laughed talking to my former colleagues and one even offered me to to uh, take his camera and like play around a little bit and so it was just a lot of fun and yeah i think this is the most important thing to not make a story out of it that yeah something changes because you have been featured on tv or whatever but just be true to, to yourself um, be happy if you have the chance to reach more people for free even better and then uh, go on with, with your life and what you have to do. So this is it. I hope uh, you learned something from, from this long summary. And I wish you a great day. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions or if there's something uh, I can help, help you with. Have a great time and bye bye from Germany's nice forest.